iowacpa.com. A message from the members of the Iowa Society of Certified Public Accountants. You may find yourself looking for affordable health coverage for yourself, for your family, or even for your business. If so, you should look into a plan from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. Our Simply Blue plans give individuals and families choices that meet their needs and their situation. If you're a small business owner, we offer more than 60 options, so if you need a more affordable plan, visit www www.wellmark.com today. Affordable, reliable health coverage. The difference is blue. We've all experienced a great deal of change recently. Your Iowa bankers want you to know one thing. Our commitment to you and to our state never changes. While other lenders may come and go with deals that don't always add up, Iowa banks are focused on providing sensible products to meet your needs. We've been serving Iowans for over a century. Just like you, Iowa is our home. For advice and services you can trust, stop by your Iowa bank. Iowa Banks, your future, our focus. First shot of the game for Helan as they control the tip, no good. Assumption has it in front court. We're just underway here in this 3A semifinal match. Assumption in their road reds with the white numbers, black trim. Helan in their home whites. They've got the dark blue numbers trimmed in gold, and three-point shot outside is off the mark, no good for Zach Coiner. Rebound to the Crusaders. Bring it into front court. McCabe down the right side. Shot no good, but a foul, and Zach McCabe's going to shoot a couple. This foul against Blake Schneiden. Schneiden with his first. And Zach McCabe at the line shooting two. McCabe. Flips the first one on the way, and it's no good. He is a 72% free throw shooter on the year. Trying to break the scoreless tie. He gets the second free throw. So a one nothing healing advantage just a minute into the ball game. Assumption with the basketball in front court. Coiner. Point pass finds Schneiden. Back to Coiner on the left wing to Schneiden at the point again. White gives right side this time to Joe Daniel. Daniel, they want posted up. They don't want him playing out on the perimeter that much. They do go low post. Fadeaway shot that's no good for J.T. Vonderhaar. The rebound, and McCabe throws it into front court. Baseline shut off and stolen away by the Knights of Assumption. Pushing the pace, deal baseline, layup good. Finn found Joe Daniel at the baseline for an easy two. Two to one, Assumption the advantage. 6-12 remaining. Here in the opening quarter of play, down the left side, Noella pull-up shot is no good. That one missed Alex Malloy. Knights in right side to Daniel. Joe Daniel gives back out on the perimeter, Vonderhaar. JT, one dribble to his right. He's lost the dribble, now needs some help. Out pops Joe Daniel to help out. And he'll wait, Sean Finn, down on the right wing once again. This time it's Coiner. Left they go for Blake Schneiden. Up top, three-pointer on the way. It's off the mark, no good. Daniel got the rebound put back up and in. Joe Daniel with four points. Assumption leads four to one. Helan has the basketball in backcourt. Michael Malloy, far side it goes for Curian. He's double teamed and tied up. And the possession arrow favors Assumption. Five fifteen remaining. Actually, it was a travel that was called. No tie-up. Left baseline. Finn throws one over the top. No good. Rebound, here comes Malloy in a hurry in front court. He jump stops in the lane, pushes it up just short. Alex Malloy did. Assumption has it going the other direction. Left baseline jumper, that's no good. Weak side rebound. Off to Bishop Helan and Chris Karpuk. Now Alex Malloy to Zach McCabe. 
Excuse me, that was Michael to Zach. Zach goes inside, deals to the baseline. That's Malloy's shot that's no good. And the ball out of bounds. Stripped away, no, just lost out of bounds by Chris Carpuck. Four to one, Assumption with the lead. We're almost midway through this first quarter of play. Been a lot of movement up and down the floor, but not a lot of scoring in this one. Finn to the left corner, scoops it off for Coiner. Coiner goes to the right side. Vonderhaar throws up the three, and it's good. JT Vonderhaar. Pass ahead in front court. And all the way for the layup. No, it was stripped away. Follow try wouldn't go one more time. It's up and in and give credit on the bucket to Chris Carpuck. Nealon finally scores a field goal. Assumption leads 7-3. to three. Top of the key, it's Coiner. He goes low post. The duck under move and a little hook shot that's no good. Tipped out of the hands of Daniel. Quick outlet pass ahead. That's Michael Malloy going down the right side. Lots of contact, went to the deck, threw it up, hit the bottom of the backboard, no whistle that stops play. So Finn goes the other direction and his jumper is off the mark. Tipped into the baseline area and it's out of bounds off Joe Daniel. And Assumption is just horse in the boards. Trevor Fenley has checked into the Assumption lineup. And for Bishop Heelan, Reed Buckstead is in the game. He's got it. Throws it into front court. Michael Malloy to Alex. Back to Michael on the wing right. Looks left. Passes left to Buckstead. Low post. Now well, that's out on the wing left to McCabe. Then off it goes for Buckstead. Buckstead deals to the baseline. Layup tip. Uh, wouldn't go out, but tipped up and in by Carpuck. And the assumption lead trimmed to two with under three minutes remaining here in the opening quarter of play. Finn with the basketball. Sean goes right side to Trevor Fenley. Low post pass back to Fenley in the corner for three. And good. <laughs> Ten to five. Assumption the lead. Healing the basketball. Alex Malloy hangs and shoots in the lane, gets the goal, trims it to three at 10 to seven. Assumption with the basketball, top of the key pass. Fenley with it to Finn. Right side it goes to Daniel, back to Finn. 10, there's 210 remaining in this first quarter of play, and now a whistle and stepping out of bounds with the basketball. Well, assumption is pointing out to the official that he wasn't anywhere near the sideline and Finn is, or no, it's not Finn, it's Tommy Carroll. Tommy Carroll is just beside himself that he was called for stepping out of bounds with the ball on the sideline. Graves into the, into the game for Bishop Helan. Gave it up, gets it on the right wing. He takes it into the paint, dumps to the baseline, and it's over the head of Alex Malloy and out of bounds. So actually, Alex did get a fingertip on it, but all he did was redirect the direction out of bounds with the ball. Assumption has a 10-7 advantage over Heelan. Low post pass, that's Daniel forcing his way inside, missed the shot, the rebound is fought for, and it is Heelan with the ball and a foul called on Assumption on Trevor Finley. Got there just a tick late. Bishop Heelan's got it in backcourt and a chance to be within one on this trip. Vonderhaar leaves or comes back in. Joe Daniel is going to get a breather here with a minute 39 remaining in the first quarter of play. Backcourt with it for Heelan. Graves. Pass to midcourt. That's uh, McCabe. Dumps to the left baseline. Shot no good. Follow wouldn't go either for McCabe. The rebound to Assumption. Vonderhaar came up with it. Now in front court. Lobbed to the right baseline. Finn banks one up. Bad angle. And it's taken away off the miss by McCabe. McCabe fouled by Fenley. Oh, 
Bentley's going to leave the ball game. And into the ball game comes once again Zach Coiner. It's a throw in for Bishop Heelan. Tossed in. Graves has got it. Graves going baseline. He deals it off and cut into the basket. Left side for the easy layup. Carpuck. One point ball game. Here's a shot that's rejected and saved on the far sideline with a timeout called by Heelan with 50.8 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. We'll take a break. Be back after this from your local station. Bishop Heelan got to within a point. They had a chance to take the lead, but shot no good, and a rebounding foul on Zach McCabe, his first. Gives it back to Assumption with 35 seconds now to play in the quarter. Finn, Vonderhaar, right side pass. And that's Schneiden with it. Now look inside, and that's Vonderhaar, and he lays it to the glass and in. The defense went for the steal, and that left a clear path to the basket. Now 15 seconds to go, pass ahead. Here's Alex Malloy inside, and as he headed up, well, before he actually headed up for the shot, a foul is called against Vonderhaar. That's his first, the team's fourth, and it's a throw in for the Crusaders. Baseline in front court, 11 seconds remaining. The look in bounds to the right side to McCabe. McCabe. Outside to Graves. Graves nearly lost the ball, is able to get it back, deals to the right baseline. Malloy stripped of the ball on the way up. It goes out of bounds. There's a lot of banging going on inside, and we are through one quarter of play. Davenport Assumption 12 and Bishop Heelan 9, and we're back after this on the High V Championship Radio Network. Do you whole family to do? Have you visited the Iowa Hall of Pride lately? They have a theater, a game room, dozens of hands-on exhibits telling the stories of famous Iowans and why Iowa is such a great place to live. Did you know that all children in grades K through 12 are free? The Iowa Hall of Pride is across from Wells Fargo Arena in downtown Des Moines with plenty of free parking. The hall is presented by Iowa Farm Bureau. It's the spirit we feel inside. We feel inside. The Iowa Hall of Pride. Well, the quarter begins. A missed shot and the ball out of bounds. Touched last by Assumption. It'll be Heelan basketball. Crusaders trailing by three here early in the second quarter. Inside, down the left side, trip down Shane Graves. No foul call. That's, you know, that's typical in this game, at least in the early going. Here's a three-pointer on the outside. He rims in and out. No good. Rebound McCabe. McCabe deals to the left baseline, and the ball intercepted. Good defense by Assumption. Back the other way comes Finn. Finn to the left baseline, and an offensive foul is called as Sean Finn, after releasing the pass, ran over somebody. He got the ball in great position to Joe Daniel, but... An offensive foul called, and back it goes to Bishop Heelan. Finn leaves, or excuse me, it wasn't Finn. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, it was Sean that left the game. Reed Buckstead and Shane Graves, both still on the floor for Bishop Heelan. Buckstead with it on the left wing, pitches at the point. To McCabe, back to Buckstead. To McCabe, way outside the arc. Right side pass. Michael Malloy gives to Alex inside, and Alex went up with a shot. Again, tons of contact. This time the whistle blows, and the foul is called against Joe Daniel. It's his first. Two free throws here for Alex Malloy. Second free throw is on the or first free throw is on the way and it's good. 
Joe Barr is really working the officials in this one. Head coach at Assumption, second free throw for Malloy. That one's off the mark, no good. The ball out of bounds. McCabe, the last to touch it. Vonderhaar will throw it in. Baseline backcourt with Assumption leading 12 to 10. 6.38 remaining first half of play. As 3A semifinal, the winner to play Pella. Pass ahead, stolen away, Malloy. And Malloy is fouled as he got the pass off. He's fouled by Sam Baldwin, who checked in at that last timeout. And we get a timeout here. 6.29 to go in the first half. It's Assumption 12, Helan 10. And we're back after this on the High V Championship Radio Network from your local station. Michael Malloy shooting a one and one free throw, makes the first one. He gets the bonus shot, and he also has a chance to tie this game at 12. Finn is back into the game. Check it. Uh, yeah, Sean Finn is back in for the Knights of Assumption. Second free throw, and that one missed everything. He swished the first one and missed the entire rim on the second one. Assumption with a 12 to 11 lead and possession of the ball. Six and a half to go in this first half of play. Finn deals on the right wing, gets it back to Daniel. Joe, left side pass to Finn. Nice look underneath. Shot for Vonderhaar, no good, but he was fouled hard by Shane Graves, the 5'9 freshman. And JT will have to get him one at a time at the free throw line. He has five points in the game. Good free throw shooter, 72% on the year. With the exception, there's the first free throw is up and no good. With the exception of perhaps Blake Schneiden, who shoots just south of 60% from the line, the starting five, three of them, are 72% or better from the stripe. So a good free throw shooting team. Second free throw is up. That one is good for Vonderhaar. He makes one of the two and makes it a two-point lead, 13 to 11. Graves off into the hands of Chris Carpuck, who's back out there. Then McCabe. McCabe spinning to the baseline, leans in. Shot was rejected, picked up by Vonderhaar. Both of these teams with big guys inside that just kind of shrug their shoulders when they come away empty because of contact or what they feel are fouls because it's being played the same on both ends. Deep right corner. Coiner. Now left side, Vonderhaar for three, and it's good. His second triple. 16 to 11. Davenport Assumption the advantage. Carpuck the basketball. He wants people reassigned in their areas. Gives left side for Alex Malloy. Now McCabe, now right side to Michael Malloy. Michael looks the right elbow, finds Carpuck. Left side pass. Then low it goes for McCabe. His outlet pass is deflected. Comes back to McCabe. McCabe then is stripped of the basketball, and that was clean. J.T. Vonderhaar reached in as he went by, got both hands around the ball, and just took it right out of his grasp. Here's Joe Daniel with it. He's double teamed. Has to get it, get it away to Sam Baldwin. Now they'll go left to Finn with 4.40 to go in the half. Baldwin in the deep right corner gets it back on the wing. Back in the corner to Coiner. To Baldwin. To Finn. To Baldwin again. They play catch. Now they'll go left side. Vonderhaar. Finn. Around the perimeter. Deep corner. Wing. Wing. On the left side this time. Finn starts in at the right elbow, backs up, now dishes off on the left side. Vonderhaar for three, threw that one up, a prayer, but hard off the rim. It winds up in the hands of uh, Baldwin, who missed his three-point shot, and taken away by Alex Malloy. Now it's Graves with the penetration to the paint. Puts a shot up with the left hand. It won't go down. Tip try won't go. Carpuck tried again, it wouldn't go. This time it's McCabe that cleans it up. 
He finishes, gets his first field goal of the game, and gets his team back to within three. Assumption now will try to re-extend with 3.35 remaining in the first half. Deep left corner. Back out on the wing to Coiner. Coiner with it. Coiner with the up fake on the three. To Daniel. Joe left wing on the three-point line to Coiner. Coiner goes inside. Little jump stop. And as he tried to throw the shot up, he was fouled. Carpuck with the personal. Non-shooting violation, so we'll get a throw in for, uh, for Davenport Assumption. Left side baseline in front court. Schneiden will throw it inbounds. Does so to Bonderhaar. Finn, deep in the right corner, Schneiden. Back to Fennelly, who's also in there now again for the Knights. And away from the basketball, we've got a whistle and a foul. And the foul is called against Bishop Helan on Carpuck, and that's his second. So he picks up a couple of quick fouls. The inbound toss. Vonderhaar left side blocked. Oh, goodness. They're going to call a foul on Zach McCabe. And that's his second personal into the free throw line. Vonderhaar will shoot two. At the line, number 33. Vonderhaar is one for two. And the first free throw rattles out. No good for JT. He's one for three now. Has nine points. Looking for his tenth and looking to make it a four-point assumption advantage. Second free throw is up, and that one's good. He has 10 now, and Bishop Helan with the basketball in backcourt. Not for long. They throw it away. Nope, it's deflected out of bounds. And once again, many red-shirted players doing the officiating, saying, oh, no. The guys with the black and white stripes decision, the only one that counts. Bishop Helan has the ball back. In front court. Carpook. Now they go low. That's Malloy. And as he turned and headed up with the shot, he was stripped of the ball. He thought he got hacked. But it's merely be inbounded by Bishop Helan. The throw all the way to midcourt to Carpook and then back into the hands of Michael Malloy. Michael goes right side. That's Kirian. And the dump down low. Well, McCabe probably had a pretty good look at his shot. He tried one extra pass, and he wound up throwing it away in the right corner. Shot's no good. Tipped out. Back on the right wing to Fennelly. To Vonderhaar. Vonderhaar got way too deep underneath the glass. Tried to lean back. Here's a long outlet pass, and it's stolen away by Fennelly. Check it. Not Fennelly, but Blake Schneiden. Now Fenley has it on the right wing. To Schneiden at the three line. In the corner, that's uh, Joe Daniels' shot that's no good. And rebound Bishop Heelan. With under two minutes to play, Davenport Assumption has a four-point lead. McCabe nearly lost it. Got banged into, gives it up to Carpuck. Left side baseline. No shot available. Back out on the perimeter. Alex Malloy giving it up to McCabe. Zach McCabe. Right wing, Michael Malloy. Out. It comes. Then left side. Low post it goes. Alex Malloy tried to dump it to the baseline, and it's out of bounds. Off of Carpuck. Into the tight line of 35, Zach Coiner. 17 to 13, Davenport Assumption with the lead over Bishop Helan. 124 remaining in the first half of play. Ben with the basketball, looking back at his head coach. 
Gave it up to Schneiden. Now back to Finn. They're going to play for last shot, it looks like. And still a minute three and two and one. And now one minute left in the first half of play. And Heelan appears content to just let him hold the ball and let him play for one shot. Heelan will start the second half with the basketball as it stands right now. So we'll just sit here and watch Sean Finn hold the basketball in his right arm until it gets to be about, oh, 10, 15 seconds to go in the half, and then they'll start, start some movement. Twenty-three seconds remaining. It was a 12 to nine lead for Assumption at the end of the first quarter of play. They lead by four right now. Now Finn with 10 seconds to go, gave it up, gets the return, on the dribble, and bounces one off his own foot. It came free, he throws it at the basket and it goes in. And a whistle stops play with 1.2 seconds, no. Do we have a technical? Yes, we have a technical foul on Tom Betts. So Sean Finn is going to shoot a couple of free throws and the Knights are going to get possession of the basketball. And the free throw is good. Second free throw. That one spins out. No good. Assumption's going to get the ball. They're going to get a Get a heave at the basket with 1.2 to go because they'll throw it in front court base or front court sideline. The inbound toss, Finn won't count as he threw one up at the buzzer. We're going to halftime. Davenport Assumption 20 and Bishop Heelan 13. And we're a spot behind here. We'll be back after this from your local station. Well, the second half gets underway. Bishop Heeland with the basketball to start the second half here as Davenport Assumption has a 20 to 13 lead over Bishop Heeland. We'll get our coverage to you here in the second half on the High V Championship Radio Network after these messages. When you're talking great Chinese food, you may be surprised to find a grocery store on the list, but High V Chinese Express was named one of the top 100 Chinese restaurants in the nation by Chinese Restaurant News. Pick from some of the most popular entrees, prepared fresh every day by High V's authentically trained Chinese chefs, or request a meal made to order. Healthy options, low sodium soy sauce, everything cooked with healthy oils, and dinner for two for under $12? Good fortune and great food await at High V Chinese Express. In these uncertain times, you may find yourself looking for health insurance. That's why you should know about Simply Blue individual and family health plans from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. With Simply Blue, you'll get choices that meet your needs and fit your unique situation. So if you don't have coverage or need a more affordable plan, visit www.wellmark.com slash simplyblue to find a plan that works for you. Affordable, reliable health coverage. The difference is blue. We've all experienced a great deal of change recently. Your Iowa bankers want you to know one thing. Our commitment to you and to our state never changes. While other lenders may come and go with deals that don't always add up, Iowa banks are focused on providing sensible products to meet your needs. We've been serving Iowans for over a century. Just like you, Iowa is our home. For advice and services you can trust, stop by your Iowa bank. Iowa banks, your future, our focus. Well, a couple of buckets by Crusaders here early in the second half of play. And here's the uh, three-point effort that's no good from Zach McCabe that would have tied the game at 20. Davenport Assumption's lead is 20-17, to 17, and they own the ball in front court. Vonderhaar has it on the, in the deep right corner. 
And Knights move from left to right as we watch the action here in the second half of play. Vonderhaar has it. Gave it up to Finn. Naden on the floor. We've already mentioned he just picked up a foul. Zach Coiner and Joe Daniel, the original starting five out there for the Knights. Three-point ring, Coiner. Finn, right elbow pass. And back out on the perimeter again. Daniel trying to move inside. Was double teamed, has to give it back to the point. Now penetrating into the lane. And a blocking foul is called on a shot that's up and good. And the foul on David Kirian, his first. To the free throw line, Blake Schneiden will shoot one and a chance for the three-point play. 22-17 assumption, the free throw is up, it is good. It is 23-17, a six-point lead. Across the 10-second line, Michael Malloy. Back to Alex Malloy and then to McCabe. Left side it goes. Carrion. Then down low. McCabe's shot wouldn't go. Follow does, however, for Carpuck, and he's fouled and will go to the free throw line to shoot one. Had a chance for the three-point play. Chris Carpuck. And the Finn foul is his second. Free throw for Carpuck is up. It's good. He converts the three-point play and gets his team back to within three. Now driving the left side all the way for the layup. The uh, shot blocked out of bounds. The Finn effort was blocked out. It's a throw in for the Knights. The dish inside, the steal by McCabe. McCabe got bodied on the way up floor, and now pass inside is stolen back by Blake Schneiden. And the pass to midcourt, there's a steal by Alex Malloy, dish right side, back to Malloy, wanted to one hand the jam up and hit the front of the rim. That had just taken the layup, getting the points. Here's Finn to the paint, deals out on the left wing. Assumption works with it in front court. Coiner, pass inside, slapped right back at him. Tried the baseline, but was shut off. And now around the right wing it goes for Vonderhaar. Vonderhaar to Coiner, then to Finn, then left side to Daniel. Joe looks for cutters left of the lane, nothing happening there. Outside, three-pointers up. That's well short, no good. The rebound to Alex Malloy, the give to McCabe. McCabe across the 10-second line, dumps to the baseline, a little up fake, then reverse layup that's good for David Carrion. 23-22, Assumption's lead is a point. They'll try to reestablish a little more distance, and after this timeout, Assumption will talk things over. With 3.48 remaining in this third quarter of play, Knights 23, Crusaders 22, and we're back after this from your local station. Oh, assumption with the basketball in front court as we get back underway. Trevor Fenley has checked in out of the timeout. Finn gets it to Fenley. Fenley pulls up, little runner left wing is no good, and a rebounding foul is called against the Knights. And Fenley is the one that picks up the foul, and that's his third. So now, Michael Malloy across the 10-second line gives to Alex. He goes into the paint and was stripped of the basketball and goes out of bounds. Still belongs to the Crusaders. There are some quick hands going on both ends of the floor in this game. Inbound toss, and that one deflected back out of bounds by Finn. Kind of a lazy toss, and you don't throw anything lazy in this game, or it'll be picked off. Bishop Heelan throw in again. Reed Buckstead is in there out of the timeout. Inside goes McCabe for the layup, no good. He's fouled and will go to the free throw line to shoot two. 
Joe Daniel with his second. Zach McCabe, two free throws here. First one is good. That ties the game at 23. And to give the Crusaders the lead with 319 to go in the third. McCabe's second free throw is no good. Finn high for the rebound for the Knights. He'll bring it up for himself. Sean Finn, right sideline pass. That was Trevor Fenley. He almost stepped out of bounds with it. And he was very close to stepping out of bounds on the sideline with it when he stepped back. Low post pass. That's Daniel, and Joe goes inside. Ran over one player, and then was fouled by another. McCabe with the personal, and that's his third personal. And Joe Daniel will shoot two free throws. The first one is up, and good. He has five points. Tommy Carroll checking in for the Knights of Assumption. And JT Vonderhaar gets a little bit of a breather here. The second free throw is no good. Assumption leads 24-23. Helan has the basketball. Right elbow. There's Carpuck. Little jumper. No good. And a rebounding foul is called against the Crusaders. It is against Alex Malloy. Alex Malloy, first personal foul. With 2.43 remaining in the third quarter. Assumption leads by one, has the ball. Finn double teamed on the sideline. Pitches in the middle, deflected. It's still loose and picked up by Bishop Heelan. Daniel got bumped off the ball. Here comes McCabe to the paint. Drives the left side, and before he can get a shot off, he's fouled. That foul on Trevor Fenley is his fourth. Fenley leaving the ball game, and back into the lineup comes Zach Coiner. Heelan to throw the ball in, baseline in front court. The look, the toss to the point. Michael Malloy, then at the right elbow, it goes for McCabe. McCabe to the paint, dumps to the baseline for the layup that's good for Carpuck. Heelan has the lead, 25-24, 2-10 to play in this third quarter. And near steal, it goes out of bounds on the far sideline. Buckstead almost came up with one. Then takes the inbounds pass. Goes by Malloy, pulls up, 13-footer, no good. Rebound to Alex Malloy. McCabe has it now with Heelan in possession with the lead, 25-24. McCabe, right side, little runners off glass and good for Zach McCabe. Three-point lead for the Crusaders, 27-24. Minute 40 remaining in this third quarter of play. Then started inside, gives it up, now pitches to the point, Coiner. Right side pass, Finn. Spinning into the paint, the dump down low. Nice look, easy two for Blake Schneiden. Wow, was he wide open right of the glass. 1.15 to play, and here goes McCabe. Tripped as he went into the lane, fell down, threw it at the glass, no foul called. Finn to the paint, he loses the basketball. Outlet pass on the break, all the way for the jam, no! And a technical for hanging on the rim, Alex Malloy. Not only did he miss the slam, but he did a chin up on the rim. This will be a four point swing if Sean Finn makes both the free throws. And the first one is good. Ties the game at 27. Second free throw. No good. So nearly a tie. The technical against Alex Malloy also is a personal foul. So he has two, I believe. 
Wow. And the Knights get the basketball. Then spinning in the paint, puts a shot up. The one-hander gets the bounce. High bounce off the back iron and through. So two points that Helan did not score, plus the three that Assumption did because of the technical the possession. McCabe goes inside, missed the shot. The rebound was to Schneiden. Now Finn will launch a three in and out, no good. Rebound to Schneiden, deals underneath, and it's tipped out by Carpuck. Still belongs to Assumption. They lead 29-27 with 21 ticks to go. Elon will substitute. McCabe goes out of the ball game. Into the contest is Nick Berger, a six-foot senior. The inbound toss in the corner. Coiner thought about the uh, shot. He puts a, how in the world did he do that? He underhanded that thing straight over the front edge of the rim. With five seconds to go, runners up and good. At the other end for Alex Malloy and the horn sounds to end the third quarter of play. After three, Davenport Assumption 31, Bishop Heelan 29, and we will be back after this on the uh, High B Championship Radio Network. You know Coca-Cola has a secret formula full rates number one in academics and state competitions. I think it's just a, a great honor. It's a great, great achievement for our school. I'm very, very proud of, uh, proud of this award. The Bank Iowa Traveling Challenge Cup is a program that recognizes Iowa high school students for academic excellence and outstanding achievement in state competitions. The Bank Iowa Traveling Challenge Cup. Are you up for the challenge? Fourth quarter gets underway. And uh, Kerrion with a foul. His second, the inbound toss, and whistle and a foul on Bishop Heelan. Chris Carpuck with his third. At the free throw line, two shots here for, as the first one is good for uh, Blake Schneiden. Schneiden now with six points. Assumption leads by three, and the second free throw no good. Tipped out, controlled by the Knights. They'll have another crack at it here. Baseline move, Bonderhar pulls up off the dribble. Jumper no good, rebound to Carpuck to give to McCabe. He crosses into front court, 7.25 remaining in the game. And Davenport Assumption leading by three. The winner to play Pella. Pass finds Malloy. Malloy lost the handle on it as he came down with the basketball. Michael Malloy, that was. And the Assumption Knights with uh, Finn. The other way, pulling up at the right elbow for the jumper. 34-29. Davenport Assumption over Heelan. Seven minutes to play in the ball game. Top of the key, Michael Malloy. Out pops Alex to take the pass. He looks back inside. There's nothing going on in there. Outside, that's a three-pointer that's good. Counted for Zach McCabe. So now a two-point ball game and traveling called on Assumption in front court. Not a lot of pressure, but the pressure on Zach Coiner caused the walk. And now Helan has the ball with a chance to tie on this trip on the conventional bucket, could take the lead on a three-pointer. Double team in backcourt, taken away from Michael Malloy. Off it goes for Daniel, shot no good. And he tipped the ball into the corner, saved it from going out of bounds, and then as Michael Malloy got the handle on it, he was fouled by Vonderhaar. Vonderhaar with his third personal foul. And we'll watch Michael Malloy go to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. He'll have a chance to tie this ball game. Well, Assumption had a chance to grab a four point lead. Here's another one of those little swing things. If uh, the first free throw for Malloy, well, it won't go down. 
Could have swung as much as four points on that play. The two that the Knights didn't cash in and if the free throws would have been made, instead Davenport Assumption holds a two-point lead, 34-32. Finn at the top of the key, looking left. Crusaders are playing straight up man defense. Point pass. Vonderhaar looks to the low left blocks area, and that's Daniel, Joe Daniel, that banks one up and in. Joe Daniel with seven. McCabe pushing the pace into front court. He'll drive, shot no good, but a foul is called on Daniel. And Joe Daniels picked up his third personal. And it'll be Zach McCabe that'll shoot two free throws. Trying to get his team back within two, makes the first free throw. Zach McCabe, the 6'7 senior. And the second free throw is up, and that one is good. So he makes them both. He's got 13 points, and Davenport Assumption's lead is two at 36-34. The winner to play Pella for the 3A title Saturday night at six. Low post it goes, Vonderhaar. Shot is up, no good. Tipped up, wouldn't go. It's loose inside, and Joe Daniel comes up with the loose basketball. In the deep corner to Coiner. Coiner drives, deals into the paint. Finn hangs, banks one up and in. And starting to get more physical inside again, which means that pretty soon there's going to be hooting and hollering from both crowds and both coaches. Zach McCabe loses one. It's tipped to the baseline for Malloy. Shot no good. Tipped around and out of bounds. Last touch by Carpuck, and it belongs to Davenport Assumption. 4.54 to play, timeout on the floor. It's a four-point lead for the Knights, 38-34, back after this on the High B Championship Radio Network. I rely on my CPA to do City Heelan, the Bishop Heelan. And 4.52 to play. Knights late getting out of the huddle. They have to sprint to get the ball because it was... Here's a two-on-one, and Daniel is called for an offensive foul, and he just about threw the ball behind him, which would have been a technical, and luckily just released it nicely, but he wanted to pitch that one. <laughs> Bishop Heelan, that was the fourth, by the way, on Daniel. Bishop Heelan with the basketball, down four. Tyrion at the point, goes left, low post, backing in, little jump hook for Chris Carpuck is up and good from the left side of the lane. Two-point ball game, assumption 38-36. Finn with it for the Knights. Gives it up to Schneiden. Off to Finn again. Finn goes in on the wing, pulls up. His 12-footer's good. He's been money in this one when they've needed a big bucket. Sean Finn's been there for him. I've got him with 12 points. Four minutes remaining in the game. Alex Malloy left to Kirian. Back to Alex, top of the key to Michael. Michael backs up, gives on the right sideline to Kirian. Top of the key, Alex Malloy left to Michael. Down low it goes, shots put up, no good. Put back up, wouldn't go. Carpuck, and then stolen on the uh, by uh, McCabe, tossed up and in. McCabe's got 15. It's a two-point game again. And now a whistle stops play, and we get a foul. And Schneiden was double-teamed. The foul is called on Carpuck. That's his fourth, or the way I have it. And that's what the board shows. Schneiden will be shooting one and one. The first one is good. He earns the bonus. And more importantly, increases Assumption's lead to three at 41-38. Second free throw for Schneiden on the way, and that one is no good. It comes off the front edge. Now Bishop Heelan, a chance to tie with a three-pointer, can get within one on the regulation bucket. All depending on whether they can get a good look. 
As this assumption defense has just been pretty salty in this game. So is Helens. Don't get me wrong there, but here's the dump down low. Carry and shot blocked. And then a jump ball as Vonderhaar was tied up. Possession arrow favoring Bishop Helan. 3.06 to play. Inbound toss. The dump down to the left side. McCabe shot partially blocked. Lots of contact. Now on the reach in on Schneiden. A foul is called. Against Alex Malloy. Schneiden's going to shoot a couple more free throws. Well, a one and one anyway. 18 fouls on Helan. Schneiden at the line with his team leading by three. Three oh one remaining in the game. Pella will play who for the class 3A championship. The free throw of the front end of the one and one is good. Schneiden is four of five from the free throw line. Check it four of six from the free throw line, and now second free throw is good, making five of seven. And the lead is five at 43 to 38. Michael Malloy to Alex Malloy near the right elbow. Alex going down the right side. He's fouled. And if the foul is on Joe Daniel, and it is, he's fouled out. Joe Daniels just fouled out of the game. Seven points, and he leaves with 2.49 to play. Well, that's one big presence inside for uh, Assumption that they do not have. Trevor Fenley will come back in. Fenley comes back in. He has four personal fouls. So, here's Alex Malloy at the line. Shooting one and one. And the first one is no good. Will he get another? No, it's a two-shot opportunity. Everybody was jumping for the rebound, but he was fouled in the act of shooting. Before that happens, we'll get a timeout with 2.49 to go. Davenport Assumption 43, Bishop Helan 38. We're back after this on the I, on the High V Championship Radio Network from your local station. Both teams are over the limit, but uh, Assumption with 10 team fouls, it's the double bonus. For Helan. And the second free throw now for Alex Malloy is no good as well. Too strong and a rebounding foul is called against Bishop Helan. And that one is against Carpuck and he's fouled out now. So Carpuck fouls out with 13 points and he leaves with 2.48 to go. Daniel leaves left at the 249 mark. Carpuck leaves at the 248 mark. Into the contest, Shane Graves for Bishop Helan. At the free throw line, Sean Finn shooting one and one for Davenport Assumption. But from now on, all fouls are two shot opportunities outside of player control fouls. And the free throw is no good in the lane. The rebound is covered up by Michael Malloy, rushes it into front court. Assumption leads by five. Helan has the basketball. Left side it goes. Graves, top of the key to McCabe. McCabe. And he is fouled on the far sideline, or far wing, by Zach Coiner. Just his first. McCabe's going to shoot a couple here. McCabe is four of six in this game. Five of 12 from the field, four of six from the free throw line, has 15 points, now 16 as he makes the first free throw. Also has six rebounds and three assists. Now the second free throw to make it a three-point game. Zach McCabe on the way, and that one's good as well. 
17 points for McCabe. Davenport Assumption leads 43 to 40. And the ball's lost in backcourt. Sean Finn just stumbled and went down. Lost the ball. Some pretty good pressure from Malloy, but there was absolutely no contact between the two, and Finn just went down of his own accord. Here's Graves, point pass to, to McCabe. McCabe spins, lost the ball, stolen away. Here comes Finley, up fake, goes by, puts a shot up, no good, but was fouled. The foul is against Alex Malloy, and that's his fourth. And Trevor Finley at the free throw line shooting two. Has three points, he scored a three pointer in the first quarter. And this free throw is no good off the left side. It remains a three point assumption advantage with 2.10 to go. Second free throw is in and out no good. He missed them both. Alex Malloy rushes into front court. Back it comes into the hands of Shane Graves. Reed Buckstead is also out there. And now whistle stops playing a timeout called by Helan. And it'll be a 30 second, we're keeping it here. 30 second timeout. With 157 remaining in the game, Davenport Assumption with a 43 to 40 lead. Bishop Heelan with the basketball trying to draw a little bit closer. Tons of time left. Both teams are in the double bonus. Each team with two timeouts left. The possession arrow favors Davenport Assumption. As does the scoreboard right now at 43 to 40. Throw in Graves. Dumps it in for Alex Malloy. Gave it to Michael and then back to Graves. Shane hands it off for McCabe. McCabe, a couple of dribbles spinning at the free throw line. And as he got there, he was grabbed by Sean Finn. And that's his, I've got it as his third. McCabe back to the line to shoot two more. A couple of free throws here. Becomes a one-point game. McCabe free throw is up. Got that one. And another one to try to make it a, a one-point difference is all. Assumption leads by two right now. The second free throw is also good. I've got him eight of ten from the free throw line in this game. 43-42, Davenport Assumption over Bishop Helan. Finn gets rid of the basketball to Finley. To Coiner, back to Finn. Out pops Vonderhaar. He's been kind of quiet the last couple, three minutes of clock time. Finn has it. Man defense. Double team on the near side. Vonderhaar gets it back to Finn. Down a minute 15 to play. You have to pick somebody to foul. Who will it be? Sean Finn is two for five in this game. Finn spinning, is double teamed, flips the pass far side, just out of the reach of McCabe, and now Schneiden is fouled, and I'm not sure that's the guy you foul. He is five of seven, will be shooting two. Schneiden on the season is a 50, oh, not quite a 60% free throw shooter. So by the percentages, he is the worst on the floor. And this free throw goes in. By the game, though, the game numbers, he's six of eight from the free throw line now. Schneiden is. And the second free throw is also good. He's now seven of nine. And Davenport Assumption leads by three, 45-42. 58 seconds to go. McCabe, right side to Graves. Graves puts it on the deck, drives, runner is up, off glass and in. One point game again. 45-44 Assumption. Then across the timeline. Looks for and finds Schneiden again. 
Schneiden on the near side to Coiner, back to Schneiden. Schneiden. Coiner, play and keep away. The give to Bonderhar. Back it comes for Finn. Finn dribbles inside. Somebody's got to get. Somebody's got a foul, and it's going to be Alex Malloy that fouls, and he's fouled out of the ball game. And Malloy leaves the contest with five points. Averaging 19 a game, scored five in this one with 16 ticks to go. There'll be some free throws coming up and a timeout called right here. So Bishop Heelan uses a timeout with 16 seconds to go regardless of what Davenport Assumption does with these free throws. It's just a one possession game for um, for Heelan, for Bishop Heelan. If both free throws are made, they need a three-pointer to tie it. If he makes just one of the two, a two-pointer would tie it. Doesn't make either one. A regulation bucket would win the ball game for him. But 16 ticks is all that remains. So that's why Tom Betts has drawn up the battle plan on the far side, going over all the options. He still has a timeout left. So. We'll see what happens here. But again, Alex Malloy now is done for this game, as has been Chris Carpuck. And a long time ago, Joe Daniel fouled out. Seemed like a long time ago. 2.49 to play, but then Carpuck left right after him at 2.48 to go. And now Alex Malloy is gone with 16 seconds remaining in the game. So here's Sean Finn, two of five from the free throw line in the game and has two to work with. And the first one spins out, no good. Well, a regulation bucket, if he makes this free throw, would tie the game. Now Finn, second one is up, and that one's no good. Here comes Bishop Heelan, a chance to win with a regulation bucket. Malloy, eight seconds to play. Timeout is called with seven seconds remaining. And it all comes down to this. For Bishop Heelan, seven seconds to get off a shot that will win the ball game. Davenport Assumption may take a look and what they're doing now uh, coming out of the timeout and make all their own to set up a defense. High drama here in the 3A semifinal. Someone's going to play Pella for the championship. Somebody's going to face Mount Pleasant for third place honors Saturday at noon. Whichever team loses this, it's going to be a bitter disappointment. It'll be tough for them to get back up for that third place game. Well, the, the map has been drawn out. The inbound toss will come on the near side for Bishop Heelan from Joe Rossiter. Rossiter to look, look the ball inbounds. Deal to the left side. Graves, runner at the buzzer. It's good! It's good! Graves with a bucket that beats Davenport Assumption 46 to 45. We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. <laughs> 